As surely as the sun rises in the morning, the Brazilian Grand Prix packs out the grandstands and creates incredible drama. Title deciders, heartbreak, triumph and home glory. All these and more can be found in abundance here at the Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday, and he starts from pole position. And starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Hamilton, Bottas, Kimi Räikkönen, Red, Perez, Gasly, Stroll, and Alexander Albon, Hülkenberg, Leclerc, George Russell, and Norris. Butler, Ricardo, Kevin Magnussen, and Roman Grosjean. Sainz, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Lucas Weber completes the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. You're above where we expected on the grid. Be careful not to lose places, as there will be faster cars around you. Thanks for the boost of confidence, Jeff. Hey, everybody, welcome to the... Brazilian Grand Prix. We did have ourselves a really nice qualifying run yesterday, but today we start what is going to be a, a, a high intensity race, I have a feeling, just judging by how these races usually go here. I am not happy with the strategy at the moment, as it looks like we're going to go from the super, or sorry, that's last season, from the soft to the hard tire. And uh, we do have the selected strategy there of the first one. I know my lesson. I've learned my lesson. They will occasionally put you on the low tire management one by default. I did not know that was a possibility, but now I know. I'm going to look, though, if, uh, if there is a, a second stint on medium's possibility. They say no. They say if we go, if we go to the... the the medium tire, there's just no possibility of... Yeah, there's not even a way to remove this this stint now. Can I go back to default somehow? Uh, revert. Yes. Yeah, why can't I just change this to mediums without adding another stint? They just say it's not... It's physically not possible, I suppose. What if we ran these down to lap 14... Uh, could we could we get rid of that other stint then? No, it just will not. It will not get rid of this stint at all. What if I go all the way out? No, there's no way to remove it. They won't. They just will not let me do that. So I suppose that means that it's gonna be. It's gonna be the soft to the hard tire. No matter what I want to do. Wait, 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 wait. Toggle personalized versus projected. Personalized lets me do softs to mediums. Holy cow, I'm so glad I took another second to look at this. I just, I was so certain that there must be a way to run the soft and the medium. I decided to take another look at it. That's 17 laps on the softs. I want to do it. I hate the hards so much that I want to do it. It seems like the logical way to go. I just don't see any reason not to do this strategy. I'm going to stick with it. Let's hope that it works. If it's a bad call, it's all on my shoulders. Here we go. This is a tough turn one. Kind of a late start for me. This one of the tires pretty good too, but... You never know what can happen in turn one here. Kimmy's gotten a great start. I'm gonna take it up to P3. He's right beside Vettel right now. Kind of a no harm, no foul, and no gain start for me. Oh, side by side ahead of us. Getting dicey. Hello. I wanted to get in there next to Botas. Vettel is on the hard tire right now. That's bizarre. 
That is a bizarre strategy. I feel like he's going to be a sitting duck. No wonder uh, Rackman got around him. Hucked in into a nice draft. Let's use some fuel. Let's back off the fuel. It doesn't look like we're going anywhere with it. Surprise, Vettel's holding on like he is. Oh, losing touch and ground to the leaders. That I don't feel like we need to because Vettel's on this weird strategy. I might have to get around Botas because Botas. It's taking too long to make this move. I thought I might be able to put something together there. Didn't quite happen. Heavy blocked by Botas there. Let's see what we can do. I don't think we can outmotor this Mercedes. Nah, not even in a good draft. I don't think we can do that. DRS is now enabled. Will be available to use when you are within one second of the car ahead in the DRS zone. Should be good. Wow! It happened again, that's the same thing that kept happening last week, where they just turn into me. I was so there. I feel like if I can just get wheel to wheel with them through these slow turns, we can outgrip them. I don't want to abuse these soft tires, we're going to be on them for a while. Block again. We got a much better exit. And we should get DRS. As long as he doesn't draft by us, we should be alright here. All right, I really shoved it into turn one to make sure he didn't go for the pass back. That's not going to be easy on the tires at all. Right, now we need to start clicking off some good laps here. Now that we kind of got the cork out of the way. Yeah, he's getting swallowed up by the racing points now. Hamilton and Verstappen are battling as well. That could help bring this field back together. I don't think Verstappen had the fastest car. He just had the best track conditions for qualifying amongst the fast cars. Here how early I'm shifting through here trying to keep the rear tires from spinning. Oh, Bonus didn't get uh, DRS there. I thought he would. I'm gonna take the inside lane. I'll take the outside lane. I, I mean, I'll attempt to take the outside lane anyway. Now he has it. So I might as well save some energy. Two of us are definitely closing in on Kimmy. And I think we're actually closing in on the leaders, but they may have just sorted out their battle and Hamilton might just check out at this point. I'm so glad that I figured out how to change our strategy there. I'm 
not the most uh, intuitive UI this system has. DRS here, Perez staying close with us, continues to be our championship rival, and that is a bold move into turn one. We make this a double. Heavy block by Kimmy there. Heavy, heavy block. We have the position, we have the apex, it should be good. He had to get out of it, judging by how far he fell back. But I think we very much so had that turn. I'm a bit worried about losing a gear in this race. Our gearbox is pretty worn. We haven't been warned about it. I certainly like it having this strong power unit in the car for here. Even though it's a, uh, you know, there's a lot of slow bits to the track, it really does help to climb up the hills here. Check the wing. Well done. This track, unlike many others, you don't get the second DRS here, which I kind of like. Late move, late move. Well defended. These two in front have not necessarily gotten away. But they do have a decent little gap. If they aren't racing each other, they'll probably build on that. I'm only halfway through the stint on these tires. If I remember correctly, so... Keeping some tire under me is going to be important. And then what's going to go on with Vettel here on the hard tire? That will be interesting to find out. Is he going to go hard to soft at the end? That could be... A huge drive from him at the end of the race. That's borderline cutting there. You gotta watch out. You gotta keep the left sides at least on some asphalt, I believe. They are still being pretty racy ahead of us. That is good news. I think Hamilton's having a hard time ditching Verstappen from DRS. a bit there. I don't want to push that nose too many times. As long as we have to go on these tires. Don't want to slide the back end too much either. All that short shifting is giving me a little bit of excess fuel as well. Still for snapping in front of us. I'd like to know what that gap is. 3.6. Just be nice to track that, see how we're doing. Visually, it looks like it's staying about the same. But this is the part of the track where our car kind of comes to life. Option. I don't think I'm going to like this idea. That's just pitting a lap earlier. Copy. I'll just pit a lap earlier if I need to. I'm not going to change it right now.
used up quite a bit of energy this lap. I think I accidentally went to high mode when I was going to try and find the strategy. I didn't see the gap. Three seconds back to Kimmy now, though. Seems like he doesn't quite have as much pace in the race as he did in qualifying. I gotta watch stuff like that. I'm kind of torn here. I feel like if Verstappen would lose Hamilton's DRS range, we could probably swallow him up. But I also feel like the only chance we have of a victory today, which is what I really want, is if he keeps hassling or bothering Hamilton. See what that gap is this lap. Is 4-0, so we've actually been losing time to him now as he started to clear the fight. Leclerc up to P4, he started way back. I think I just saw the two of them up up in front of us side by side, so this is gonna be a critical one for me to, to nail. So we can really close the gap here if they're fighting. Get all we can get here. I can hear them. I can hear their cars, so I, I feel like we did close the gap a bit. This track is so fast that it uh, it's hard to see the gaps. Boy, not much. A tenth of a second, really. On what was a flyer of a lap. Alright, Hamilton down to B2, so yeah, they're, they're still going at it. They still keep doing this, that could be really good news. Save a little energy though. Not the ideal thing to be doing right now. The player has actually been closing on me. So that might be a factor for the end of this race. I think the end of the day, our big struggle will be just maintaining a podium. Unless things get really weird, I don't see a, a win in the cards today, but I'm going to keep pushing with the mentality that I can. You don't win races thinking you can't win races. Right, that gap looks visibly closer this lap. 2.9, yeah, they... They have definitely been going at it. These tires are starting to feel beyond their prime, that's for sure. was gripping really well through there for some reason this lap, so I just felt like I could get some more out of it. <laughs> Probably got the tires a little too warm, judging by what it did there. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't take a race engineer to see that that gap has come down. Curious when they're going to pit. If they do go to hards, they may undercut me a little bit. 
Maybe we'll be paying earlier. I just did not feel comfortable on those hard tires at all. Here they go again. Been a fascinating one to watch, that's for sure. Still side by side. Now they sort it out. I'm actually not pushing nearly as hard now. They're racing so hard, it's just free real estate for me. Kimmy is back behind me somehow. I didn't see that happening. He's actually been closing. He's been running really good laps, I guess. Now we have energy to use. 0.69 laps of extra fuel. Nice. They both hit at the same time. All right. So we need to go full on for these laps. Kimmy pits as well. We're going to be the only car going this long, I think. We're also going to be probably the only car going to mediums. Kimmy is in for his stop. This is a dangerous strategy. We're going to need to monitor tire wear. For the moment, we're going to look really good. Luckily, I've already been running out on my own for a while, so I don't feel like... I'm going to be hunting for my line around the track. Sometimes when I run too close to people for a long time, I, I forget how to drive alone. Not the case here. It's a pretty tidy lap overall. They're gonna do a couple more. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. I feel like we probably should pit on 17. If I can get to that menu. Actually, they're pretty good. All right, well, Leclerc is running fast laps now, so those cars on on the hard tires, on new hard tires, are definitely running faster than I am. Vettel's behind me nine seconds behind me, but he'll also be on a one-stop strategy. He's just going to go really late into the race. That's all. Decent lap, kind of all that it has in it at this point. Okay, looks like you're running on some slightly warm rubber at this point. We should still have a fair amount of grip left, but be mindful, it's going to start falling away. All right. Too much curb. I'll fit pretty bad. I'm going to use some fuel and some energy to try and recover from that a bit. Leclerc continuing to run at fast laps. I wonder if he went to, like, mediums or softs or something. Because the cars behind me are not running fastest laps. Like, Hamilton has not put up a fast lap yet. I'd love to know what times he's running. getting undercut real bad. We've lost so little time per lap to the beginning of the race, it doesn't feel like we should be. I'm going to stick to the plan, even though it feels much too late. Okay, Hamilton's actually battling Vettel. So we only have a nine second gap or so. So I do feel like we've lost some time to them. In this lap, in this lap, push now. But we weren't exactly right on them to begin with. 
And this is a pretty short pit time. Seems like that battle has actually become a little heated. It is now Leclerc in P3. He is on soft, so he is going for a two-stopper. That's interesting. A lot of strategies. Diverging strategies at play here. Now, the other factor is we're going to have mediums for the last stint. And we're going to have really good mediums. They're not going to have to go any further than these have gone. I really think we should have fit on 17 like they asked, but it's so hard to change. Box this lap, please. Not be too crazy here in the last lap. We've had a really good lap, too. Very good in lap. Nice and, nice and sane on the entry. Wipe my hands clean. Not gonna do any changes to the car. It feels really good. Honestly, one of the best cars I've ever driven here. Complete go nice stop with a 240 in it. Okay, there they go. And it looks bad, but then we have the Look short line here we want to finish the race on and this then we go full throttle now so we're going to be behind Verstappen but just and we have better tires and we know Vettel has to pit again and we don't know exactly what Leclerc is doing yet Tires aren't quite up to temp yet. Careful. But I should be able to absolutely run the crap out of these tires, unlike the first set. He compromised his entry. So this should be an easy pass. Was. So now we gotta try and catch Hamilton here. I get a bit wide there to be defensive. Using all the curb that they will let me. We definitely need to lose for Stappen here. Having him right behind us does us no good. It'll be the same situation that Hamilton had the first stint. That pestering, not letting him get away. That's where you see the newer tires really shine, is the acceleration out of these turns. That's just middle sector. So a bit deceptive here. I think we're actually sitting P2 at the moment. In the real race. It all depends on how much of a gap those Ferraris can make right now. Vettel up ahead has not made any gap. I don't... I think that's Vettel on those hards from the start. And he's a non-factor. I think it's Leclerc on the two-stop strategy that might be interesting. Absolutely ate him up through that middle sector this time. Medium tires working really well. And a little DRS. 
and fat slap of the day. that this is ultimately going to be the race for the lead. I do feel like the sooner I get that pass done, the better off I would be. But I don't think that's going to be easy. Let's see how much time I'm losing being behind him. I get trapped behind him with dirty air. Really bad news. This might be close enough for a DRS move. He runs me wide. I got the gas really soon right there. He just ran me down to the dirt. I don't want to go battling too much and ruin my tires and have Verstappen close in. That's the bigger thing. I think these tires are going to be great to the end of the race. I'm just worried about Verstappen closing and being a problem. I can see both Ferraris on the map now, so they're not going to be an issue. here, but I don't feel like I had enough of a run out of the last turn to do anything with it. So let's let's gain some energy. I don't see his ERS blinking at all, so he's probably just putting down a lot of energy right now. So we can save at the moment. Put us in good shape. Maybe not the time, but I'm going to say it anyway. This is such a pretty track. A lot of rumors that this track will be going away soon. But it's such a pretty track. I know it's a rough one for them to go to. I think it's one of the coolest. He's slowing me up so much. I have the energy now. Bit of a lock up, but nothing too big. Try and rock it out of here because he's going to get DRS. Pinched off that turn real hard to make sure he didn't get by. Oh, they have pit now. I didn't even notice. And this is indeed race for the lead as of now. I'd love to know where that put those Ferraris. Not that it matters for me, but interesting strategy. Nevertheless, pretty big mistake. Let's him get back by. All I see is Verstappen looming. Three horse race is not one I feel I can win. A two horse race is one I feel I can win. I haven't even fully shown all my cards. I haven't gone into Rich Mix. I haven't really used Overtake very much. 
Oh, Vettel now on the soft compound. It's going to be doing ripping times. So we won't be getting that today. a little bit. We don't have the better car here, but I feel like we have a better strategy. We're looking at some gearbox wear. Try to keep your number of shifts to a minimum. I was worried about that message. I could definitely rear its ugly head by the end of this. Oh, the late moves. Even though there's still 10 laps to go, these laps go by pretty darn quickly here. I really need to start considering how I'm gonna get this done. And how I'm gonna clear his DRS, because Having him right behind me is not an ideal situation. This might be the lap. We have lots of energy. Tires are still pretty good. I grabbed an additional gear there, but this is a big run. Alright, now carry this run out of here. This is a qualifying lap now. Just punch it. We need to sink the dagger in this. I can't believe the front end just stuck through there. I pushed it so hard. And the rear tire's there. It spun a little, but... Go, go, go. Yikes. That's, uh... That was a maximum effort lap. And it should show. Now, whether I can hold this gap, to fend off the ARS to the end of the race, I don't know, but I feel like that's what I needed to do. I needed to clear them enough in one lap to get myself out of DRS range. That's why I was being so patient, saving DRS, saving fuel. I knew that's what I needed to do. The little, the little slaps back and forth for the lead was just gonna be a nightmare. See how much different the pace is this lap. That was big. <laughs> I, it probably didn't look like very much, but it, it felt like a lot, that's for sure. Maintaining okay. There is one more factor in this race, though, and that is Vettel on soft tires with six laps to go, running very fast. 
lines, and now in third place. That could be a problem. We shall see. Crank that wheel over. One would think by the time he even gets to Hamilton, his tires are going to be equalized, so they shouldn't be able to catch us or even really pass Hamilton as long as we don't make mistakes like that. I definitely feel like we're probably... Myself and Hamilton are running a second a lap slower than, than Velo right now. Data shows the tyres are okay right now. We anticipate good levels of grip for the next few laps at least. Tires might be falling off pretty hard by the last lap, but after that first run, I feel like we can do anything. <laughs> I certainly ran these a lot harder than I ran the softs, but... They're going basically the same distance and are a harder compound, so they should be okay. I have one eye just watching the gaps. Three. Three to Hamilton, two to Vettel. We have five laps of fuel remaining. So he actually had a bigger gap than I thought. I thought that was to us. But he's most certainly going to catch Hamilton. Easy going. Just a matter of how quickly does he get around him. No pressure for us right now. I'm going to go into a little bit of energy harvesting for a lap or two. Easy. This is a very... Busy racetrack. It really takes a lot out of you. 3.1, 1.9. So he's not the DRS range yet. That's going to be a big factor, I think. Medium hard soft. All three, top three on differing tire strategies. Very interesting. I really don't understand why they were so against running mediums here. Two point six, one point seven. So we were harvesting here. That's not a big deal. A little bit of understeer there. Still working well in the middle sector, and that's where I need it to really work well. We can go back, back to a regular mode. What have they done? 8.8.5, so that move is going to probably happen pretty soon. Softs versus hards. You would think that would be pretty easy. We've only got two laps of fuel left. 
in my mind that wasn't enough, but it's actually 2.8. We're just gonna run it very, very close on fuel, I think. I'm definitely losing a good bit of front end grip. Honestly, more than I felt the first run. He hasn't gotten around him yet. That might be our saving grace. It's Hamilton putting up a huge block. All right, he got him. He's got two laps to make up. A lot of gap though. Two and a half seconds. He was doing. He was doing two seconds. He was doing a second a lap easy earlier in the run. I don't know if he's doing that now. And we'll have a little something to throw at him the last lap too. I'm not babying around here. I'm. I'm still giving it. Everything I got. It doesn't have quite in it what it used to. 2.1 that sector. Here we go, white flag. Hopefully no DRS here, that would have been no good for us. A little lock up there didn't help. I think Vettel just had to defend from Hamilton a bit. Point nine. Yeah, he's under a lot of pressure. These fronts are not happy. We're not under immediate threat, so let's not do anything crazy. No sins. I think we got it. I think that's all we needed to do. Hot or cold, it's all we know. This week, we were hot. Fantastic drive, just fantastic. You deserve that race win. I I really think we did. So <laughs> Honestly, for the strategy, the if nothing else. They are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing That's at a terrible level, sound. At the very top is anything but simple. There's no catching them now. Then we have a new world drivers champion. All right, well, Vettel does something he so might never Romero do and wins it, in red. What a great race it was. Oof. That one took a lot out of me. A happy virtual Seb. So then, it's time to see how this result affects hey, the we got fast championship. Lap too. This also means that there's no catching our leader anymore and we crown a new World Drivers' Champion. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I think it's got to be Lucas Weber. Time and time again, he proves that he's someone who can quietly get the job done, and that's exactly all what he's all done right, today. All right. It's time to Two check out here. the constructors' standing. Six to first, six to first to for me. The gap at the top of the table. Twelfth to fourth like that, for the player. Who knows what the sport has in store for us next time? Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. All right. Well, the good news here is. Fourth place pretty much secured for us in uh, in constructors. Third place is possible, I think, but let's not get ahead of ourselves there. Uh, Kimi had a bit of a rough end to the race on what was a pretty strong race for him, but still P6. We uh, we s somehow scraped together a, a first place out of a race that 
I, I really can only think the strategy is what got us there. I, I mean, I drove pretty good, but catching that we could go to the, the soft medium was, was really good. I don't remember what the start was like. A little bit touch and go there, nothing too major. I think we had some, some good moves earlier, but really, it was just keeping the car clean that I think was the key. Ah, uh, this bit of side by side with, oh, I got a little touchy there, with uh, Vettel on hards. Kimmy's still ahead of us here. I think, yeah, I think we manage, despite getting pushed to the grass, we get around him there. God, the highlights need work. I think it'd be great to see what actually happened there, maybe from a few angles. Maybe I'm asking too much. It was a good bit of this race, which was just out by ourselves, but there, there was a bit more to it than that. Let's be passing cars on pit road there. And then this battle with Hamilton. That's fun. That's fun to do. Now, is this the time that I... I don't know that was the time that I, that I pushed it after the pass. I think he gets me back. Oh, yeah. That was the, the biggest moment of the race for me. A good save. And then from there, I'm like, all right, I can't just get ahead of him. I got to get ahead of him and gap him. So I went into full save mode, despite locking up tires there. Hello, slow-mo. Really? You didn't get my pass for the, for the lead for the win? Come on, highlights. Work with me. Work with me. All right. Good stuff. Much enjoy. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. Mm hmm. How are you feeling after that win? Uh, none of this really. I don't know if any of this really matters at this point. Things are looking up after last week, aren't they? Okay, let's do that, I guess. You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? Power unit. None of this matters. You're surpassing all <laughs> So many questions. Can anything or anyone stop you? Uh, we'll make the team... Oh, the sportsmanship. Oh, that's good. Great. Well, that's everything. Although, I think Ferrari wants... Did I say Ferrari? I didn't say that. I think that team that I'm interested in, like, uh, showman. All right. Good stuff. Hope you enjoyed that one. I enjoyed uh, running it. A full green rivalry breakdown here. A good way to wrap up a great weekend in great Brazil. Work. That's exactly the kind of result I'm looking for. Keep it up. I'll try, Emma. I'll try. <laughs>